Hey what's up guys it's Val of a Huntress and welcome or welcome back to my channel uh, and today's reading I just got the urge to film because I have a message that is coming through quite strongly so I'm just pretty much going to jump straight into this. So collectively there has been a big transition and this was from the last the last spiritual awakening that happened collectively so this was towards the end of the year you might still already be um just kind of coming out of this it's still coming out towards the end of this um of the spiritual awakening is what i what i'm getting there has been a big shift collectively and like I said, this is more so if you're a light worker, a healer, and if you have really been already doing the work in terms of like spiritual work, um, whatever platforms you have, whatever work you've been doing, this was in terms of you really stepping into your full potential. You can see here the Wheel of Fortune, Nine of Swords, and the Chariot. It was definitely a huge shift that went on. Um, this was energetically, so this was all towards like when we had the last, um, we were in retrograde, and then we had the Cancer full moon, which brought up a whole lot of ancestral emotional ties from the heart space that we really had to look at and really heal. So I feel collectively there are still some people that are going through this, and the ones that are feeling... Because I kind of get this thing too around if you are already doing the work, you might be a little bit, I'm not saying anyone's better than anyone, but I just feel this is how it works because I feel that the messages need to come across because some of you have already um, kind of come out of it more so to share the message with everyone else who is going through this as well. So there is still like the stage of... Um, a little bit of stabilizing and still some clearing going on in terms of emotions but the most of the most of this has already transitioned and because all the planets are now pretty much um well when i'm doing this reading are going direct um to my knowledge that this is now when things are moving forward so this is all in terms of your work your um your goals your financial goals your projects are moving forward is what I'm getting. So also I'm oh, there's so many messages. Okay, there's also um there is a thing here too where I feel like something happened to you where you have also caused some type of I'm gonna say like a stir or some type of like I'm gonna say I'm just hearing disturbance too in someone else's like energetic field. There's two of you that have um, caused something within each other as well, and this is like what happened through that last transition. But now you're ready to move forward with like all these new ideas. Spirit is definitely very much around you, is what I'm getting. Um, you might be hearing. And we have the strength card. You might be hearing hearing things when you're sleeping. Um, your dreams are more vivid. There's something coming through about a, a heightened awareness in terms of um, spirit interaction. And that's because they're really close with you. They have always been close with you. But when you were going through this spiritual awakening, it was hard for you to know that they, you know, you can't, you knew you were there, but you did doubt. But it was almost like, because you needed to clear all of this, you've kind of gone to this next stage. We are on this different level. We are able to really tap into, into this other it's like you're closer to these other dimensions. So because you live in different dimensions too, they'll be coming through in your dream time. But there's also a thing too, when you're hearing them, you might hear it in like a different frequency or tone when you're sleeping because it's coming through from a different dimension. So it will, it will, it will I'm going to say taste, it will sound different to as someone was speaking to you in the room it has like a different um 
what I want to say, a different, a different flavor, a different sound. It's a very, it's like very distinct and you would know that it's not like another person talking to you in the room. It's someone that is like talking to you from like a different dimension, from a different like parallel world is what I'm getting. And they're coming to you in your dream time because they've actually been helping you to manifest um, this. They're helping you manifest these goals, but these are all tied to contracts that you have come back to finalize you've come back here to help other people because your mission is like quite I don't sound like but they're saying your mission is quite um big here in terms of teaching so you're here to help other people and you're here to share your gift but you have already um decided this when you came back and this is what they are helping you with because now the plans are going forward they're, they're moving forward and like I said, it'll everyone will be in different stages is what I'm being told. Also with, um, you've closed out a karmic cycle as well, but I'm feeling like you thought, I feel like you, this is what I'm getting. Yeah, King of Swords. You feel, you can still feel this, there is still an energetic pull which is like bothering you is what I'm getting because you are really focused on moving forward away from these ties and I know that you have cut a lot of people out of your life and you're focusing more on soul connections, soul kind of, um, you know, with this ten of cups here, you're looking for long-term fulfillment and not um, things that cause you anxiousness, anxiety, unsettledness, you are moving away from that and that's why you're closing out this wheel but because it's like you're in a different stage to many other people is what I'm getting, um, not everyone is going to be <laughs> Queen of Swords, don't we have the King and the Queen of Swords, yeah I put, I put that King of Swords back, um, <laughs> Not everyone is going to be on this frequency as well as what I'm getting. The Ace of Swords here. So it's not everyone is going to be as heightened as you. There are a few people here that are not, um, they're kind of like still on their journey and still on their path. And like I said, I'm not saying anyone's better than anyone. It's just a journey of evolvement. Um, and this is kind of just where it's at. So some of you, like I said, there's a very heightened awareness. Like you've always had psychic gifts, you've always had that ability, but you're getting really clear downloads and channelings. You're getting clear downloads from... This isn't only from higher realms, this is also from... Other, there's something here with like these different dimensions and your past lives. So you're actually like channeling through. Um, I'm getting something around like the witch's circle, a lot of magic coming through. You could really relate to, most of you will relate to <laughs> um, the witch's circle, or you have some type of, you have some type of connection there that you feel you are very connected to and you're actually been um, getting like ways of manifesting ways of making your dreams like making your financial goals come true you're, you're remembering and using these abilities which is from your past lives and you're using this to um, like I said to manifest what it is that you want and it's like you suddenly know what you need to do you know where you need to go you know kind of what you need to join or what book you need to read you just know exactly what you need to make this happen now because I feel there's just so much more clarity and so much more like I know what I'm doing I've moved through this I've gone through the grief I've gone through the anxiety I went through that really hard time but I know that moving forward you're just tapped, there's something you've tapped into that's very ancient and it's a part of this wisdom that you're actually collecting from your past lives. So definitely, like I said, with the spiritual awakening, there was something here where you were able to 
tap more into and heighten this ability of your psychic gifts, your psychic awareness. And now you'll, for many of you, it's like it's like soulmate connection. It's not like these are like fucking mushrooms. Oh, it's not like these bullshit um, connections anymore. As I pull the King of Wands, <laughs> um, I feel that the Empress. Things are going to be different and like I feel collectively and with um, Queen of Pentacles, I said, things are going to be different now. You're let, you've left behind the old but there is still a pull there so just um, that is still coming through but you're on your way to financial fulfillment. You're using your abilities from these past lives because your psychic gifts have been made um They've been amplified through this awakening because you went through a very difficult time, very challenging time, and you honestly, I feel like you were like, How am I actually going to get through this? You didn't know how you were going to get through this, and if you were able to get through this, but you did. And I also feel there could have been a lot of things going on within the body, within the mind space, because that was needed. For this new um like you would have felt really really off and that was needed because you will you it's like changing to a different frequency to a different elevation and that's why you're able to hear and connect more like you've always been able to connect to dimensions you've always dreamed to dreamed about it but there's something coming through that it's becoming very clear and you're hearing it more some of you might be seeing depends on your because I'm reading collectively, it depends on your um, your most heightened gift. You might have a few, but um, for you know, it's going to be different for all of you in terms of one that's very heightened. But there's something here where you're able to tap into these different dimensions, and that's why you're getting really strong knowings and really strong um, intuitive. Like you know how to get the thing done that need that is going to take you to where you need to be and like how we had that that queen of pentacles there so this is all too around um it's like living i feel like everything you've been working towards is about living this abundant life is what i'm getting and really i feel that you have been wanting to create this happiness and moving away from the unstable energy that you've had in your like constantly in your life is what i'm getting Ten of Swords, because like, yeah, walking away from, <clears throat> it's like you're seeing things clearly now because of when you go through these elevations, suddenly you see people, you see situations for as they truly are and you needed to go through these situations and through these challenges and meeting these people because you needed to understand connections, because you needed to teach other people, you needed to start understand energetics and there's something here too around um, a lot of things around like past lives and meeting people from your past lives in this connection. So this is just the chapter at the moment of what I'm feeling is going on um, kind of in the stage of where everyone is at but it's almost like I feel that some like for some people there's been a thing around still going back still being safe still being in a place that makes them safe I'm just like spirit is saying and that's why I said Everyone will be in different stages and that's okay. But there's something about these stages of people wanting to stay in the, in the comfort zone and people not wanting to move forward with this or people still being stuck in that Nine of Swords. So like I said, everyone is on different journeys and that's totally okay. But like this is the journey of the main kind of goal is like the soul, you know, having these soulmate connections, this ten of cups, 
and having moving forward to the life that um, a lot of people are manifesting. But I'm also getting a thing too around um, oh, I'm getting so many things now. Okay, like Spirit is saying too with all these manifestation things and people wanting to manifest. It's like how, it's like you can't just like sit there, write stuff out, say you're doing your moon rituals and then you're not even putting it into place. You're not believing in yourself for one. You're not thinking it's going to happen and they're not actually taking action. And then when things are not working out, you're not following through, like it's not going to work. So there's this whole thing where I think there's just needs, it's like having the clarity and having you have to step out of your comfort zone in order to make things happen <sighs> so not everything over. and you can't give up like so it's persistence too have you know like you can't give up you have to keep going and that's kind of like this thing where a lot of people then just want to play safe is what I'm getting from spirit and then there's this whole idea about, um, okay, I'm just getting this whole thing too about this karmic wheel and people wanting to stay stuck in situations and stuck onto labels because of, there's like a massive, <laughs> like a massive people of staying in um, connection, staying in things because they've put a label on things and because they're like um, either this is safe or they're used to this type of unstable energy and that's why we were seeing in the beginning layer and this turning of the wheel this karmic wheel but then are you going to move forward or are you going to stay in that energy so that's really what that last like major spiritual awakening was from and like I said everyone will be different stages but that's just what's coming through from spirit in terms of that is why there is different stages of people that because it's all our own like um, self learning our self development and what we are aware of and that's kind of like where you know you it's all like you have free will if you want to stay stuck in these patterns and you will stay stuck in these patterns and you won't move forward is what I'm getting so let's see what our spirit wants to say there's a lot of things too I feel in terms of work Putting up um, protection and boundaries is very important. And like I said, if you're going to have someone that is still in this other energy and they're seeing you move forward, there's going to be like a lot of backlash, which is like kind of what happens. If you're moving forward and you've kind of gone through this awakening, you're seeing things clearly and your psychic gifts are like elevating it, then, you know, the ones that are still stuck you uh, like I said, they want they're wanting to pull you back energetically, and that's why I said you were feeling these different these this energy is very one in particular, or then there's just like a maybe a group depending on where you are on your like platform, what you're doing in your work, and that's why it's really strong for you to stand in like what you know to be true. So that's why it's like thing. It's like also really um like who you're listening to who you're following is very important as well because there's a whole, like I said, about staying stuck in an idea that could have been just an idea from like five years ago, which might be not really the actual idea now. Why isn't this focusing? It's my camera. Lens, automatic focus. I hope this isn't going to be blurry. Um, so yeah, there's this whole thing too around, I see like masses of people, I was saying that before, um, following or going on an idea that is just keeping them stuck when it's like, are you going to think for yourself and move forward? Yeah, that strength card. Are you going to think for yourself and move forward with your life, make different choices and know that you can make your own destiny? Or are you going to stuck here feeling anxious and an unsettled, um, an unsettled connections and not learning from that and not able to move forward? So, you know, that's why Spirit always says in the universe, like you have free will, you're able to do um, what you want, you're able to, 
to make your own life. Um, you know, you and you came back with these soul contracts to meet these people so you could learn, so you could both learn. But again, it's like the whole reality too is that you have free will. So very much like once you're in this energy, it's very important to keep yourself um, surrounded. <laughs> yes, I'm here by white light. <laughs> also um, surrounded by either not around people so you can keep this energy and keep focusing on what it is that you do want. I think it's really important because you don't want to be swayed because you've got these people back here. They're trying to energetically pull you back because they see you moving forward and they see you doing well. Then you're going to like having those boundaries and these people you've cut out. It's just not going to work. You just like energetically, you're going to be, obviously I know you're already sensitive. You're going to be more sensitive. And I feel too, there could be um, quite a lot of frustration coming up. And I feel that's frustration you're feeling because <clears throat> you're like maybe getting annoyed because you can see things clearly and you're picking up. I feel like you're picking up on other people's energy and it's um, like irritating you. People might be like they are like projecting on you. So that's why Spirit is saying... I knew that love was going to come out, so it fell on the floor. <clears throat> this is like moving towards real connections, not like unstable connections is what I'm getting. And that's kind of what I'm getting, like moving forward for this year. Well, current energy. Yeah, moving forward. <laughs> Uh, six of swords and three of wands looking to to what to what is next creating your own empire I definitely see more stability it's like ace of wands like moving towards what is stable is definitely what I was getting stable in terms of your career your finances what you're creating for yourself and also just um how you're feeling like energetically in your body and your life and that's why you did the whole clearing out house because it was there to you probably either spend a lot of time alone or the spirit is saying it is very it's um recommended for you to so you can really look at um protecting your energy especially if you like when you went through the spiritual transformation you need to give yourself time to adjust and like I said, you might not be very tolerant at the moment of people around you because they will be um, irritating you is what I'm getting. There's a whole lot. Th um, also, this has cracked your heart open. And that's why I feel like for some of you, you have this whole thing where you might have been really closed off is what I'm getting. And something happened in that really, like in that full moon, that cancer full moon that really... And maybe, and like, this reading's timeless too when you watch it. But there was something here that really cracked your heart open where you now are, like, seeing things differently and you never thought you would. You kind of had, like, I feel one, an idea of how things were going to be. And I feel you weren't really shifted on that. You were like, no, this is it. And something, like, has really changed and shifted within you where you're like, I can see everything that, I want and it's actually I feel like it's actually changed and there's something here with this that you went through it's like it just really opened your heart up is what I'm getting and that's why I feel um it just feels like it just feels like real love is what I'm getting whereas before it was yeah I just feel a lot of un stableness and this is even you know not just it's in any type of connection friendships relationships you know whatever type of connection you're seeing things differently because you're knowing your worth and that's why it was like spirit was saying protect your energy because you've really elevated you really like you're getting really clear like you're very very you've always been connected to spirit but something has majorly shifted within you and changed it's just pure, like, heightened awareness. 
so so heightened you're going to be getting so much psychic um, activity um you already will be it's just like and like i said those dimensions that you're picking up on are very like it's very they're very close to you and that's because you're like i said that's going to be different for everyone but there's something here where the gifts are very elevated and you're able to connect more and it depends on where you, you know, what level you're at. Like I said, I'm not saying anyone's better than anyone. Just like everyone has different abilities, yeah. Um, but yeah, there's something about like a past life gift or something that you're going to be, or you are picking up or finding an interest in again, or to do around your work. But there's like a lot of past life um, gifts that, uh, being opened up or you're finding more interest in this something like has sparked your interest again and you're wanting to do this so something's just naturally flowing because I see you like researching or reading looking at something here and it's something that is like also some of you like definitely like an ancestral um an ancestral link to some type of gift that um, is like in your lineage that they used to do has become is going to come into your like awareness if not so already like it could have already been there too <clears throat> no for some of you too you might be wanting you're having so many things some of you too like I'm seeing like around family wanting a family like I this is just all things that are just coming towards you. There's definitely like um, so many, so many things happening um, in this in this last spiritual awakening. Like I see things give yourself time to transition because um, these gifts are still like balancing out. But you're going to get a lot of um, so take notes of all the signs like yes because um spirit was saying about signs omens you'll be getting that and i did mention that um if you follow me on instagram at veil of a huntress i'm always posting stories on there so i wait like every day so i mentioned something about that where spirit said there's they're, they're giving you signs because they're, they're telling you the stuff so now pay attention to the signs write all this stuff down because um they're pointing you towards the like you're on the right path we're with you they're really wanting to communicate um to you so make sure you're journaling these out because they could come in cryptic um and then they'll just keep getting stronger and stronger again depending on where you are on your journey but i'm definitely yeah because it's like they're wanting you like i'm yeah it's just so much forward movement and they're wanting you to um pay attention because you know they're talking to you and you're going to be like again in your dream time um and it's like you're just going to know stuff but they're wanting you then they're wanting to give you confirmation because they're wanting to communicate um in a different way that you haven't communicated with them before is what i'm getting so that is what I have for you guys. Um, yeah, leave me any comments if you want to. Don't forget to subscribe and yeah, like this video. And yeah, I'll see you in the next reading. See you guys.